hello, we're at it again. It's every two weeks, it's the Code Harmony podcast, and trust me, just because Pony's taken a six-month hiatus means we're not. I am, of course, Nirvana... We don't even know the meaning of hiatus. (laughs) I am, of course, Nirvana Sparkle, the one that just yelled in my ear is Angry Dragon. And the quiet one is quiet... I mean, what? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. The quiet one is Slash Arbiter. You just bosh that good. Then, of course, we have Slash Arbiter, a.k.a. Dr. Spartan. This is the fourth episode, guys, so I guess we can we can call this one, I guess, Rainbow Dragon Balls? What? I don't know. That's a bit... Uh, that sounds like something completely worse. <sighs> Which that... sorry, this is my reaction to that. Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna call it. It's just that's the first name that came out of my head. But the finale. Jesus Lord, freaking Christ! Right. Megan McCarthy, can I have your babies? If you haven't already had them. Well, um. Uh, uh, she's married, Lionel. I thought so, but still. <laughs> wish she <he> wasn't. <laughs> but, yeah, I wish she wasn't too. Best writer on the series. Probably the best two-parter in the entire series, guys. I mean, my review hasn't gone up, and that's because I'm having problems with my new computer. But trust me, it's ready. Oh, you I got just a new have computer? to upload it. Y- yes. What kind? What's your uh? Good for you. Here? Good for you. Is I it, still need. It is an ASUS oh, computer. God. It is a Windows 8 with a AMD AMD card and. Uh, Four gigabytes of RAM, Windows 8, internal intercooler, built-in 720p webcam, HDMI enabled. Uh, Is that HDMI in or out? Probably out. I think it's HDMI out. Yeah, Yeah. most computers have out. Because if it's an in, you don't even... uh, If I had an in on my computer, I wouldn't have had to buy an Elgato, actually. Um, And it's a... And it's pretty nice. I've got it to Windows 8.1 and all that, so. It's pretty nice. It's just too bad I deleted the program that takes out my Wi-Fi, so. Now I have to buy an Ethernet, like a modem cable, so that I can hardline it. Once it's hardlined, uh. That video will come to you guys. So sorry about the delay. Usually I don't like delaying new twenty six that long. Um, but do you want to just send it to me? I'll upload it. But uh, yeah, if I could, yeah. All right. Oh, um, and, and before I forget, before I forget, a moment of silence for Bob Hop Hopkins. Yeah. Who unfortunately passed away. A couple of weeks ago, um, he was featured in the Super Mario Brothers movie, which for some people that might be good or bad, depending on your perspective. He, he was Mario. Um, he was Mario. He was the he was the detective in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Eddie Valance. Um. By the way, uh, Tyler, I can't send you that video because it's on my new computer. Oh, it's not even hooked up at all. It's hooked up, but it has no internet connection. So. Okay. So that's why. Um, but the episode, my lord. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that was God. a... <sighs> God, where, where dude. Do we, where do we even start? The fact that it's opening, at, well, not opening, but after a few minutes in, 
it was literally a kick in Disney's nuts. <laughs> yeah, man. It was a freaking, it wasn't a kick to Disney's nuts. It was a fucking, they took a fucking sledgehammer to fucking Disney's nuts. They just nuts. fucking neutered them, let's just face it. I, I mean, I didn't listen to the song in full. I might go back and listen to play your part in full, but everything after that, if, guys, the Power Rangers videos is coming, YouTube, and if you don't believe in my theory now, you, you will believe. <clears throat> when the video is up, you will believe. And especially after the finale, I guarantee you, you will believe. I mean, Tarek, finally a villain with some teeth. Yeah, buddy. And plus, plus a call back to Generation 1, because he was a villain yeah, in for, the first gen. For all you old school bronies that do your actual research, that's a Gen 1 villain given Gen 4 teeth. And boy, did he have teeth. Oh, oh yeah. Like, I, like I've said before, he's intimidating. He is, he is manipulative. Incredibly manipulative. He is incredibly intelligent. And he is strong. Overwhelmingly strong. Even, even enough to manipulate freaking Discord and... To the point where he honestly said he didn't see it coming. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like we needed the Halo guys saying betrayal in that episode because there was betrayal. three betrayal. Betrayal. There, there, there was, there was. I do it better. There no, was don't. three. There. <laughs> your voice is way too high. Yeah, it's. Well, your voice is way too low. Betrayal. No, it's fucking not. But. but I mean, and oh yeah, Dragon Ball Z, that's how you do a mega battle. Don't waste time with talking, get to the fighting. Just just get to the high speed punching and kicking and the fucking blowing up of the face and groin. Don't, don't waste time. That's how you... That's why Dragon Ball Z, why do you think Dragon Ball Z Kai was made to begin with? To cut out all the bullshit and actually make get straight to the point. I mean, I mean seriously, Super Twilight. I want me some of that more often. Oh, and yeah. Akira Toriyama, that's how you do God mode. <laughs> that is how you Ak do Akira God Akira Toriyama mode. is weeping into his fucking board right now if 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 he actually watches this that, if it, if he did he'd be weeping into his keyboard right now that, how flawlessly this was played off that fight scene was played off not only the fight scene but the entire god mode as a fucking comp yeah the entire god mode that you know you know what this kind of actually makes me a little angry because that freaking that transformation was better than freaking that that transformation was better than fucking Super Saiyan God. Because, it was better. Why? Because it was written better. They didn't have to come up with the six pure-hearted Saiyans out of their ass. Yeah, they didn't pull all of... They didn't pull half of the stuff out of their ass and then try to cobble it together like some kind of misshapen rock, like misshapen sandcastle. It's, it's all within the logic. And yes, Internet... I knew it before you did. Troll. Hell, we both did. I saw I saw it like I saw it and I told Lionel about it. Like, did you see this? Yeah, and then I saw it. Don't don't do that. We're gonna they're gonna YouTube's gonna bring down the copyright. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. It's not a goddamn strike. It's acknowledgement. Good God. Good God, I explain this every time! You do. Hey, I have short-term memory loss. I understand, but... I, but... I've been explaining it for several months, though. Uh, yes, he has, folks, yes. But, but uh, I mean... I'm sorry, I just had to get that out there. 
I mean, yes, the box turning into the castle was kind of cheesy. And by the way, my version of the castle is better. I would take time to describe how awesome Harmony Castle is, but I think your head would explode. Internet, if I told you. <laughs> my head exploded once, and then um, I came back as, with no As head. for the castle thing, it was exactly as I said it would be. Exactly. It's a tree, folks. <laughs> okay, wait. I have they to. Freaking, they took they took the tree of harmony and it grew into the castle yep. that Twilight now inhabits. I have to say, it was exactly as I said it was. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were done, but I honestly have to say that <laughs> whenever the uh, her tree house first blew up, and these guys will verify, I go kaboom. But then, like, yeah. a few minutes later, when her, when she, uh, is fighting with, uh, Tarek, I go, holy shit, kaboom to the maximum. <laughs> Dad, if you're going to get come in. Yeah, it's and then so I just say very quietly, I think I need to remake. We're like, Kamehameha. I, I just said right after that, very quietly, I think I need to remake my video. Because <laughs> cause when they were, when they were freaking doing the energy blast things, I couldn't help but think Kamehameha. Yeah. Yes. And, and I actually said during the episode, the Lionel, I'm half expecting Twilight to drop a Kamehameha. Yeah, it's, it's like they did... And every storyline was tied up, folks. That's how you get it done, right? The sad thing is we're going to have to wait six months hmm. for more of this stuff. This is my sad face. Uh, <laughs> my face is, um, both me and Lionel's face is one that says we get some free time to play around. Yes, seeing that we are truly creative people. Plus, plus we got the Rainbow Rocks movie in between. Yeah. Yeah, and we also got that. I mean, which I can't, which I can't wait to see that. By the way. I mean, you'll find out my thoughts on the season this week, guys, and trust me, I plan to blow some minds. I'll just say that. I mean, in terms of video game news, Unreal Tournament is back as oh, a yeah. free-to-play game. As a free game, they didn't necessarily say mm -hmm. free-to-play, but they said free, which is kind of curious. I mean, I've never played Unreal before, but me neither. I'm glad that it's back, though. Me neither. Me too. Even even if most people on the internet say, "Oh, it's it's just a tech demo to show off Unreal Three, Two, etc., etc." But yeah. But the big news this week came when kind of when kind of Microsoft kind of announced what they're planning to do with this year's E3 conference. Which, by the way, as is Code Equestria tradition, you will get videos reacting to all three of the major pressers, even Nintendo's Wuss Direct. I will find a way to watch that Wuss Direct and tell you what's in it. I, I'm going to watch it too. I'm going to watch all, all the E3s on my console because I want um, to see what, what, what they're going to show off. Microsoft will start it off with PlayStation and then Nintendo will have a little itty bitty event on the 10th for they well, said they're going to have a like press conference. The, no, they're not going to have a press conference, actually. They're going to have their own internet-driven event that's away from E3. Which already, already I, I which, say, like... Which, this is the second year in a row they're doing this. That's why I'm calling it the Wuss Direct, people. Yeah, it's because it's, they're a bunch of wusses for doing this. Yeah, it's weak. Mm. And what Microsoft pretty much said is their name of the conference is called Game On. So it's mainly going to be about games. They said sequels in a new IP. Which we have no clue what that is, but, but it's probably going to be something exciting. Mr. Phil Spencer said that. 
of course, you can go to GameSpot and more other relevant video game sites for more information on that. Speaking of information, they also showed off more information about uh, Sunset Overdrive and showed off actual gameplay of it. Yes, they... I haven't seen the gameplay, but I know of the information, and it looks, and it looks really, really good, guys. It, it looks okay. like something that that you would take that if you were like in 1986 and you had to come up with an idea for a game. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, but the big story, at least for me, was the fact that YouTuber. Uh, Dr. Wolf 001 had his account terminated and then two days later reinstated. I've done videos on both ends, but again, I must have reiterate he's back now. Glorious as all heck. Thanks to the Brony community. See, YouTube, it's good to be part of a fandom sometimes. Despite what you might think. Especially, especially when that fandom has your back. I didn't say and, that. And I promise speaking, I didn't say that. And, that was uh and my voice. Speaking of my which brain for all you acting. for all you bronies for all you bronies that know about uh the men the uh mentally challenged kid that got uh tried for wiretapping, they lowered it to disorderly conduct, but they didn't actually drop the charges completely. Doesn't matter, it's still kind of a douche move. <laughs> which is still a douche, yeah, which is still a douche move. They need to drop the charges because that kid did not do anything wrong. And for anybody that doesn't know about it, actually go check it out. Yeah, because the Brony it's... fandom has talked about this quite frequently. And, uh, make sure, and, uh, congratulate us. We've hit 3,000, folks. It's weird. <laughs> Not 3,000 subscribers, just views. It's still 35. Still 3,000 views. Which, shout out to uh, Hidden Peace. He's probably going to be listening to this as soon as it goes up. Also known as Silent Rain on my list. I've actually talked to the guy. He's yeah, playing. me too. We, me and Lionel talked to him. He, oh, that, he might get back on. He might be the possible fourth guy in our chain. Boy, fucking noy. Does he have so, a one or just a 360? He has a... I think he has a just a 360 for now, but he invited me to an Xbox One party, so he might also have a one. Oh, cool. We'll have to get um, him in here sometime soon. Which, um, yeah, get him in here sometime and talk to him. By the way, his real name is Ryan, Ryan? Uh, for, for the viewers. Yes. Um, and he he's a, he's a swell guy. I, we both talked to him. We both he he likes a lot of things that we didn't like. I I remember when we were talking when I was talking to Lion when I was talking about Star Wars, and uh, I actually told him Lionel doesn't like Star Wars, and uh, he's like, how can you not like Star Wars? <laughs> and I responded because it's too complicated. Um. Which, which is funny because I've actually watched the whole series and it's not as complicated as you think. I mean, the obvious discussion point that I would want to bring up is not really what's your expectations for Season 5 because putting expectations on anything means you're not going to meet them. But I would say... If there's one thing that you would want them to do in Season 5, what do you think the writers should do? What they should do? Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, uh, and Lionel said this too, uh, more world building that they need to do. I agree like, with go, that. Go to places outside of Equestria because we've already established with one of them, I forget the name of the episode, but there was one episode where the, where the Saudi Arabian uh, continents and someone from, from another continent came over, representatives from another continent that they just discovered just then, 
and they invited them to sign a peace treaty between their nations to actually make them a part of Equestria. So I would actually like it if they like had a reason to go over there and actually uh, see how that is like and probably visit a couple of other places. Yeah, like I said, I kind of agree with that. But my big major thing, okay, now here's the big question. Is it time for the rest of the Harmony Six to hit Alicorn status this upcoming season? Do you think now is the time? Or should they bring it out gradually? I missed the last part of that. I'm so sorry. Should should they bring out? Should they basically go with the Alicorn thing and do it next season, or should they bring it out gradually? Um, I feel like I personally think that they they, they should bring it, bring out, it out gradually. gradually. Yeah, Start I agree. slow, like have have a lot of exposition because I'd rather something like that happen with a lot of exposition to it, leading in a lot of exposition leading into it, than just have it happen and make it be kind of meaningless like sure. super saiyan god because super saiyan god was something that didn't have any exposition to it no yeah. kind of lead in no nothing it just kind of happened and they and so... they really a half ass effort on akira toriyama's part because he obviously does not care how the writing about his creation at this point he's just throwing things out there and hoping that they'll work so so, obviously, my next question is, if you want it out gradually, then you would say one at a time. So, my next question would be, who's first? Dash. Yeah, I, I guess. Dash. I hate to me, have to. I hate to she, admit it. Uh, but yeah. She's probably the closest out of all of them to achieving Alicorn status, but she still ha needs. She still needs that exposition in order to get her to the point where she can actually, like, master her trait. Because Alicorn status is mastery of your trait. In Twilight's case, it was mastery of friendship. She understands Anne's friendship. She understands what it means. She understands what it is. But uh, do you think Alicorn status and Wonderbolt status are mutually exclusive? Or does it have to be one and the same? Like, like you're saying, like, Wonderbolt status and Alicorn status are on, like, the same plateau? Yeah, yeah. Um... Dude. I think they no, could be. No, no, I think no, they no, could no, no, be. They they could be. But I don't think they are have an alicorn, to be. Um, if you are an alicorn and you are a member of the team, then technically you are on the same status. But if you were like, but remember, an alicorn status is mastery of your trait. So if you don't have, if you don't have an understanding of say loyalty. If you don't have a complete understanding of loyalty, well, that, you're not an Well, alien. that goes into rainbow power. That's a whole yeah. separate thing. Is Her thing is speed and flight. And that's why I think both things are kind of connected together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they could go that route, but they don't have Her talent is have speed, to. so... Yeah. yeah. I mean... But as for... Uh... As for the question with the whole plateau things, I really don't. I see the Wonderbolts as the the pinnacle of the equestrian military, because that's pretty much what they are. They hold them at this regard. With Alicorns, they put them above the military at the top. Yeah, all right. But uh, Pinky would be the tough one to sell me. Yeah, I agree. Pinky, I'm sorry. Her as a princess does not sound Everybody fake. Everybody panic! <laughs> I, 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 I just, I'm just trying to envision it in my head. And it this, this is what you do. This is what you do. <laughs> this isn't okay. 
Okay. Oh, you took that it. was a bit too far, but I have demonstrated what you I have demonstrated the necessary maneuvers to dealing with Alicorn Pinky. Ladies and gentlemen, he just ran out of his fucking room. <laughs> um Um Applejack. As Jim Sterling would say, thank God for me. <laughs> um Applejack would require her leaving the farm and becoming suddenly suddenly unsouthern. <laughs> yeah. Do some uh the only thing I have to say when I think of Applejack is uh you poor poor ro you poor poor pony with your robotic programming. I mean, Rarity is already acting like a diva already, so she would fit right I mean, yep. in. She, she would be the diva princess. You know what? She'd literally be okay with sitting there smiling and waving for the rest of her life, because she would get to wave like yeah, a princess. Yeah, but then again... <laughs> but the... <laughs> I'm a princess! Oh, all I do is smile and wave! But That's all I do! That. Fucking, fucking Twilight. What am I gonna do? Smile and wave? Like No, you get to smile and wave like a princess. <laughs> is this disturbing enough for you? Fucking Go this, away. <laughs> fucking, fucking rare. You get to smile and wave like a princess. Yeah, right. And here's here's my hoof up your ass for that. <laughs> like the fist I, of Stalin. Up your I, ass. I, I consider that insubordinate. No, no, you don't. No, you don't deserve one one hoof. You deserve a fucking fist of the North Star. <laughs> well, oh. if well, if if Fluttershy becomes a princess, she can become one step closer to becoming a tree. No! <laughs> <laughs> and God knows she'll have the magic to do it. And she can ask Twilight whether she can live in a tree with all of her <laughs> animals. They're horrible. <laughs> 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 no one ever said we were good people, David. Like no, no, we're not. I'm a complete jackass. Like, like, mm, who am I forgetting here? Rarity, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie. Who? who no, am you got I them all. You got them all. You got all six. Yeah, because I... Twilight's already one, so there's only five this time. Yeah, like, like, and and. Please, for the love of God, have Celestia do something. Pop yes, it next. please, please have have Celestia do something. She has done nothing this season, nothing except give Twilight her alicorn powers for the safety of Equestria. I actually kind of like that because she she yeah, basically. But... But come on, when I say do something, I mean put your hooves up. Like, like, freaking, <sighs> freaking, like, yeah, but then Twilight went off and did a DB and DBZ inspired fight scene against Lionel. the main villain. You know what joke I want to make here. You couldn't, you yeah. couldn't even, come on, Celestia, you couldn't even, like, last like, one second against Chrysalis. Put your hooves up. And Twilight you know what freaking I mean. kicked Terex's ass. Uh, like, like, I no, mean, we can't do that. Silly, I, Tyler. Dicks are for human. What? <laughs> Dicks are not for kids. What? <laughs> Gay! <laughs> what? That was, what? No, that wasn't gay in the slightest. <laughs> but what? Stop talking about dicks, then. No, oh my another God, I'm a fucking. Another I God, if somebody comes on here and calls us gay haters, I'm gonna fucking come and punch you in the face for offending someone. No. Another, we, are, we are not we are not gay haters. Another another subplot. Is it time for the Crusaders to stop being blank flanks? Is it yeah. it is it time? Um I think I think there should be some uh, sub I think that should be one of the subplots of the season. I I can say that because yeah. that, now that it, we're on it the should be a subplot season. and it shouldn't be it should be a subplot and it should be like 
here's how I think that they should do it. They should take each one of them, have an episode for each one of them, and then at the and then have another episode where all three of them get what they're supposed to do. Hmm. Like each one gets an episode of exposition, would, and then would, would that include our beloved Princess of the Night without the bloom? Yeah, because all because she's already she's yeah because already she's visited two of them individually, which means that there that's the that it's obvious that's obviously the way they're planning on doing this is having Luna visit each one of them and then she's going to visit all three of them and tell them you have mastered your craft. Um, you, you three have mastered your crafts. Or found their crafts. They haven't mastered yeah, they any. Mastered or, the, they, yeah, they've be, found your crafts. Know. Excuse me. Oh, God. They, Can you imagine just insta alicor? Oh, God. Uh, insta alicor. <laughs> like, you guys are so awesome. We're going to skip the training part. <laughs> Let's give you straight the princess hood. How about that? Train? What train? <laughs> <laughs> just just freaking kick, kick him in. <laughs> there is no trains here at all and what train. about and what about babs do we need at see, all do we need to see babs again mm. i think i think we do babs has been gone essentially for oh yeah i i i like babs she's my uh she's actually out of the cutie mark crusader she's my favorite actually because she uh, sounds like you with that half New York, half Jersey thing going. Of course. Um, um, Dude, you sounded so offended when we were just, like, saying a fact. But, of course. But, but, you know, no offense to Jerseyans. Unless... Even, though I, even though I am not from New York, ladies and gentlemen, I am from Rhode Island. Even though every everybody that I meet says... Where are you from? You sound like you're from Boston or New Jersey or something like that. Oh, God, now part of my accent's coming out. <laughs> but, yeah, I live near there. I don't live on there. So, of course, I'm going to have the New Jersey accent. This, yeah. I think what right. Lionel is about to say, no offense to Jerseyans unless you're a stereotypical Jersey driver. I didn't yeah. say that. I'm not from Pennsylvania. I didn't say it. <laughs> He's from Philadelphia. Shut the fuck up! Why hide it? You've got it on your bio. Yeah, like, I am. Uh, wait, what bio? You're not really not doing a very good Xbox job if you bio. wanted to keep that a secret. Yeah, I'm not sucks. literally from Philadelphia, but my sub, my sub city. That's what you're not gonna get. So yeah, it, it's like uh, I mean, I'm expecting someone to come in the door and make sure I'm okay. <laughs> 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 and just so you know, guys, that pay attention to this channel, the pony vids and the podcast aren't gonna stop because the season is over. Trust me, I'm going to be very busy. We all are. And hopefully some more video game footage in the future. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we told you this week would be a lot of pony discussion, and it pretty much was. So make sure to like, favorite, and, of course, subscribe, because still the 59 subscriber challenge is still on. I'm still willing to sing like an idiot for your entertainment. Subscribe, or the Terpinator will come after you. <laughs> oh, God, don't start the fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger shit, dude. We hear this every day, just so you know. Guys. I am not Arnold Schwarzenegger, I am the Terpinator. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> I will Dang. hit you with oh, mountains. No. <laughs> God, it's, so, it's really so, so old. I ha I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, don't care. So until two weeks from now, where we'll we'll probably have more video game news and more analytical dotes, and finally a podcast without a sexual joke in it. Yes, 
got away with one. Until then, I'm we'll in see... the podcast. I don't think that's possible. Um, until I am Eric and I like dicks. And, no, uh, no, don't make one that of my reference. Very favorite things to touch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> until next week, guys. Uh, find peace in your own nirvana, and thanks for watching.